Joseph, good to see you. Good to see you. How are things? Very good. Very good. It's fight week, so. Going to say, when it gets to this sort of stage, is, is this the best part or is it the worst part? This is the best part. Like, all the hard work has been done in camp, all the training, um, rest, eating good, eating clean. And this is the fun part. This is the part where we're going to embrace the whole process of leading into the fight, what comes with it, and we're going to just enjoy it. Have you fully settled in as a, a Morecambe resident? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have. You know, Morecambe is a good place. You know, there was a, you know, we had a great camp there. For many reasons why, but it was good. It was a good place. Um, obviously, in terms of the camp itself, it's been a little bit different, I guess, to a lot that you've had previously. How much have you enjoyed it? W what are the major differences? Um, you know, I've only had two camps with Andy. This is the, you know, the first one was a short camp, and it was. We started off in Ireland and we finished off in Morecambe. Had the fight here in Manchester. This is the second camp where we've had longer time to train together. And the difference with this camp and other camps I've been involved in, just the environment and also training alongside other you know, good fighters, good athletes. And just, you know, the, I think the most important thing is the environment and the people around. You know, you have Andy's lead coach and you had Tyson Fury, you have you know, David Aker from New Zealand. There's, there's a big group of fighters just working hard, putting in work every single day, pushing each other, and you can't, you can't beat it. When you've got somebody like Tyson Fury, WC, BC heavyweight world champion in the camp, and you can see the things that he does now, he does them, and he's pushing you on as well, that, that surely can only be a huge benefit to you, can't it? It's a huge benefit to myself and everyone else that was in the camp. And I think that's probably the main reason why we're in Morecambe, is um, the access that we have to Tyson. You know, he's a big sort of just, you know, person to be around in camp is, is the best, you know. So he's, he's there to support and, you know, help where he can. Um, but he, most of the time, he leaves us to do what we need to do. What's it like in terms of working with Andy now for a full camp? You mentioned that last time it was only a couple of weeks. How much more benefit do you think you've got from, <clears throat> from having the full time with him this time? I think the longer time has been the best of training with Andy. You know, the first camp was just to get to know him as a person, meet him, and then start training. And we had a short time, but this longer camp, I'm able to, I'm able to practice more what he's trying to teach me. I, I'm able to understand it more. I'm able, I'm able to apply it in sparring and training, and I can see a massive difference from the first camp we had to this camp now. And I'm going into this fight happy, confident, um, excited. I just, I just want to get in there and show what I can do. And in terms of what you can do, I mean, without trying to give the game away, what sort of areas have you been working on specifically to, to try and improve? We've been working on all areas. You know, defense, offense, footwork, movement, um, combinations. Just everything, staying focused for the whole fight, you know. And I'm, yeah, I'm just excited. Like and it's fight week now, and I'm just I'm happy to be here, and I'm really looking forward to getting in there and you know, giving it my best. And I know what my best can do. How much better are you going to be this time around, then? Do you way think? better. I'm way better now than I did than I was in the first fight. I'm way better now. When you look back at that first fight, what are your sort of overriding memories of how you felt afterwards when you've got the victory? It was a it's always nice to get the victory, but it was a close fight and started slow, let him dictate the, dictate the pace, um, maybe gave him too much respect, I don't know. You know going into this fight, I have more confidence. I'm, I, I actually, I back myself, I back my speed and my power, and I back the training that we've done in camp. You had him in trouble at one or two points during that fight, but you said that you, you felt as if you maybe let him off the hook. Do you feel as if you have to have a different attitude as far as this, this fight is concerned and you've got to absolutely step on him if that opportunity comes? I, I, yeah, I, I, did, I, I heard him a few times in a fight and I did let him off. I'm not sure why. I still ask those questions myself. But going into this fight, the attitude's different from the first fight. I, can, I have a good feeling. More aggressive? More of everything. Do you expect Derek to, to come at you exactly the same way as he did in the first fight? I feel Derek will come out and start strong, start fast as he always does, throw big bombs, chase me down, but he'll be, it'll be different for him. How tough is he to fight? He's very tough. Derek is a very tough fighter. He's been around for a long time, a lot of experience, got a good team behind him, but I have a better team. 
Do you feel as if you have to win this fight, not only in terms of winning it, but also winning it in convincing fashion, I or more win. convincing fashion than the first fight? I will win this fight. Better than the first fight, I will win. Because you've still got ambitions about another world title in the not too distant future. It'd be nice, you know, it'd be nice to fight for a world title in, in the future, but I'm gonna take it fight by fight um, and be present and make the most of this opportunity now. Because you also need to try and make sure that you, you make a statement to the guys who are out there with the belts at the moment. Well, going into every fight as a fighter, you always want to make a statement. But I'm not going to put that pressure on myself. I'm just going to go in there and do exactly what I know I can do. Do you feel the pressure, though, to get the win here? Because if you don't get the win, it could have yeah. major consequences you know, for the I rest get of your the win, career. If I don't get the win, it's going to be, you know, not sure where to go from there. But my mind's not even thinking about that. My mind's focused on winning. And just going into executing this plan that we have in place. Do it well, it's going to be a great night for myself and my team. You seem like you're in a very happy mood and the old saying is that a happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. Is that how you're feeling? Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm just, it's fight week now and you know, we've had a good camp, a long camp. I put in all this hard work and all of it's going to pay off this week. This weekend's all going to pay off. How nice has it been to have your family over with you this time as well? It's nice. It's nice to have the family. There's, um, you know, got a good balance where I train hard, have a good rest, but then also get to see them briefly each day and I feel like it's given me a lift in camp and a boost and you know after the fight I'll spend good quality time with him but for now my mind's on the job. Because it's been difficult for you hasn't it over the last few years you've missed an awful lot of time away from home yeah. in New Zealand. I've missed a lot of you know special events, special birthdays and births and but that's what we have to do. You know we have goals and aspirations and that's what you have to do in order to be the best. And you'll be spending Christmas with them here in the UK as Christmas well, in the as well. UK. Christmas in the UK, New Year's in the UK. Um, it's going to be good. It's a different experience for us. But presumably you're also getting an awful lot of support from back home in New Zealand too? There's a lot of support from New Zealand. There's a lot of support from Samoa, all the little islands, Australia. Um, but we're very thankful and grateful for the support that we have here in the UK. And we saw some great pictures of you training with Sonny Bill Williams the, the other day. Uh, how was that? Sonny's good. You know, he, he said to us he wanted to come to the fight on Friday. He arrived in on Sunday, and now he's part of the team and camp for the whole week uh, leading into the fight. Um, he did some work with Andy, and he's just, you know, he, he's going to give boxing his full attention, and he's got a lot of um, potential. He's got a lot of potential. Absolutely. He's a, a legend of, of sport as well. You, when you've got someone like him and, and Tyson as well, when you've got those kinds of legends around you, yeah. does that lift you? Does that raise you? Most definitely. You know, having people like that around camp, training alongside them, working with them, definitely going to give you a lift. You know, these guys are legends in their own right, you know, and just training together, like I said, the environment is the best environment to be in. So overall, you feel as everything is coming together right at the right time, the right place, specifically for this fight now? Right time right place, no excuses, very confident, excited, happy, and I just can't wait. We wish you the very best of luck, Joseph. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you.